Hi, my name is Vincent, and today I want to take a look at finding the domain and range of a composition function. So we have let f of x equal sine of arctangent x, and we want to find the range of f of x. Now, the analogy I like to use when I teach this concept is think of an assembly line with more than one machine on it. So when we evaluate a composition function, we always move from right to left. So when we send x through this composition function, it's going to reach arctangent of x first. And then after it passes through arctangent, we're going to have some output value that's going to go into sine. So we could label this second part here sine of x. So the first thing we should find is the domain of arctangent x. Now, if you do forget the domain and range of arctangent, you can refer to a sketch of tangent x. So if we look at a sketch here, remember, for tangent x to have an inverse, we need to restrict the domain of tangent from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Because remember, if we were to consider the entire graph, tangent of x just repeats over and over. It's this shape here. Just kind of goes up here like this to infinity and all the way down to negative infinity. And it just repeats that shape over and over. So if we were to consider the entire graph from negative infinity to infinity, then that graph would fail the horizontal line test, and it would not be one-to-one, -one and it would have no inverse. So we want to cut the domain from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So the domain, if we cut it from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, we could look at the range. The range of tangent x goes all the way up to positive infinity, and it goes all the way down to negative infinity. So the range goes from negative infinity to infinity. And remember, negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 are vertical asymptotes. So this part of the graph, we're never going to reach an x value of pi over 2. We could only get closer and closer. So when we want to find the domain and range of arctangent x, remember, the easy way to find the domain and range of an inverse function is simply to flip the domain and range of the previous function. So the domain of arctangent is going to go from negative infinity to infinity. And the range is going to go from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So now if we use this analogy we talked about before, the x values we could send go from negative infinity to infinity. So the domain of f of x is going to go from negative infinity to infinity. And when we send that through the first part of the function, when we send it through arctangent, we're going to get some output value between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. But remember, this is also going down the line. So for the last part of this problem here, to find the range of f of x, we need to consider the final part, the final part sine of x here. And just know the domain of sine of x is usually from negative infinity to infinity, but because of the arctangent function, the domain is restricted from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So to find the range here, let's look at a sketch of sine of x. But remember, we have to restrict the domain from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So if we look at this here, remember uh, sine of x goes up to 1 and it goes down to negative 1. But we're going to have to make an open circle here at pi over 2, 1, and another open circle at negative pi over 2, negative 1. The reason being, the domain was restricted to the open interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So we cannot include these endpoints here. So if we restrict the domain from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, then the range is going to go from negative 1 to 1, but not including those endpoints. So if we look, we could say that the domain of f and remember what we said before, we could send any value we want is going to go from negative infinity to infinity. But the range of f, we just have to look at this final graph here, is going to send us a value from negative 1 to 1. So the output here, we're going to get y values from negative 1 to 1. So this is our final answer, the range of f of x. 
is some value on the interval from negative 1 to 1. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on finding the domain and range of a composition function. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.